What's up everybody, it's the Beastly Gamer and welcome to my channel. I'd like to start this video by apologizing to you guys out there. I want you guys to know that I love you. You all are in my heart. And I know I haven't been uploading videos like uh, usual, but I have been a naughty boy. And I'm going to own up to what I've done. I've, I've been doing something bad all week. And uh, it has actually slowed down production of my videos. It's pulled me away from playing video games all week. I binge watched House of Cards, okay? I binge watched it. I just could not stop. Uh, I watched all 13 episodes of season 3. And uh, I gotta say, man, for anybody out there, you guys know. I shouldn't have to tell you. This is one of the best shows of all time. It really is. I'm not really into, you know, political shows and things of that nature. But Kevin Spacey and this and this show is put together so well. And so many twists and turns. And it's so exciting. And so much backstabbery. It's really a classic in its time. So if you haven't watched House of Cards on Netflix, watch it now. You can watch all three seasons. Binge watch it. Stop everything you're doing for a couple days and watch it. It's really good. But something did happen that made me want to come and talk to you guys in the video game world. And I am back because House of Cards is over. So here we are. Sony Santa Monica Studios has announced that they will be releasing God of War 3 Remastered on July 14th. 2015. Uh, this kind of came as a little bit of a shock, but really not so much, because a lot of developers who've created great last-gen versions of games have been doing this. You know, we saw it with Halo, we saw it with The Last of Us, we saw it with, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the other, Tomb Raider. Uh, I'm trying to think of the Japanese, uh, there's another one too, Sleeping Dogs. Uh, there's just tons of them, tons of these uh, remade, 1080p, 900p, 60 frames per second upgrades with all the DLC, and I think I think it's not going to stop for a long time. I personally am not the most excited person in the world about this. I played God of War 3 when it came out. I thought God of War 3 was an excellent game. I thought it was one of the tightest PS3 games on that console, on that console generation. It was a fantastic work of art. And uh, I think it, it lived and, 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 and had a great legacy of one of the pinnacles of PS3. Now, the, the new PS4 version is supposed to sport 1080p resolution, 60 frames per second, which of course will look phenomenal. But the excitement for me isn't there because to me the experience is not one I want to go through over and over and over again with so much new stuff. And uh, I know there's a lot of you guys out there feel the same way. Xbox owners, PlayStation owners, uh, there's a lot of, of remastered games coming out. And uh, I don't think that's going to change for a long time. There's two sides of the coin. You know, there's people who already played these games and beat them, and, and, and there are people who play the games and love them and continue to play them and beat them, and there are people who play the game and beat them and never want to touch them again, but there's also people who never played them before. You know, I think it's a 70% turnover rate for PlayStation 4 of previous Xbox 360 owners who switched over and went to PS4. These people have been on the Xbox ecosystem for the last eight years, and they probably never played God of War 3, especially towards the end, you know. Uh, 2010 through 2013, 2014, people really were heavy into their consoles. So if you're an Xbox gamer, you probably hated on God of War because you're an Xbox gamer. And now that a lot of people have jumped ship and come over to the PlayStation side of things, they're getting the opportunity to play some of these, some of these extremely unique exclusives. I know tons of Xbox gamers who never played The Last of Us. Perhaps they played, they were like, God. I did not know what I was missing. It's one of the best games I ever played. And once you have an experience like that, you, you're hungry for more. And I'm not saying in any way that God of War 3 is as good as The Last of Us, but it's a great game. And I think everybody should be able to play it. You know? uh, and so there is an argument for people uh, who appreciate remastered versions of games. And uh, I, on one hand, am not the biggest fan of the God of War series. I think it's a great series. To me, it's not you know the best game of all time. But it is a great series, and uh, I do understand the argument of some people who want to play it. I understand the argument of people who have beat it and still think it's an enjoyable experience and I understand the argument of people who beat it and played it and don't want to ever go back to it. It's all choices and I think there's nothing wrong with more choices. Uh, on the other hand, Sony Santa Monica, you know they have not just been working on this. You know, to port up a game, of course it takes manpower, it takes ingenuity, and it takes, you know, uh, devotion to, uh, you know, port up the last gen game to a next gen console. But you know they haven't released anything in quite some time. So I'm thinking right when this game comes out, we're going to know about uh, God of War 4. I'm pretty sure at E3 this year, Sony Santa Monica is going to tease God of War 4. They're going to probably tease uh, a holiday release for it. Uh, and uh, that's going to get all the hype. 
and that's going to get a lot of people on PS4 to, to buy God of War 3 because they're going to see the amazing graphics of God of War 4. I think that's my prediction. I think they're banking on that. They want to get hype up for God of War 4 by re-releasing God of War 3 in 1080p with uh, 60 frames per second. I think if they show at E3 what this game is going to look like, people are going to be like, holy shit, I have to have this. I never played God of War before. God of War 3 is on PS4. Let me pick that up so I can kind of understand what this game is about. Understand what the story is about. That's my prediction of it. There's a story about this on Polygon.com. And it says, well, like I just said, PS3 game God of War 3 is coming to PS4 in a remastered re-release. Sony Computer Entertainment America has announced today alongside the 10th anniversary celebration of the God of War series. God of War 3 Remaster will be released this July and promises a 60 frames per second 1080p resolution visual upgrade. God of War 3 Remaster for PS4 will include all the game's downloadable content and include a new photo mode that promises a wealth of creative camera and lighting options. Among them, I mean, I'm sorry, among them to freeze, edit, and share photos of all Kratos' bloodthirsty exploits. Sony said in an announcement that the remastered version of God of War 3 will be lit by thousands of dynamic lights and feature four times the texture and resolution of his last-gen counterpart. That's pretty much what we always get now in remasters. Expect all the DLC. Expect more textures. Ex expect more light particles. And expect to be excited for God of War 4. That's my prediction. You guys let me know in the comments below what do you think. Do you think that this is... Sony Santa Monica's ploy to get hype up for God of War 4 because keep in mind Uncharted 4 has been delayed until 2016 Sony has to bank on something big for E3 and I'm thinking it's going to be God of War 4 be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below show some support and hit that thumbs up button and if you're new subscribe I am the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time